The Venom franchise is in need of a strong character to break the trend of having villains in its movies. However, the character Null, who is the most powerful Venom villain from the Marvel Comics King in Black storyline, should be saved for the Marvel Cinematic Universe MCU. Null is better suited for the MCU than the current reality of Sony's Venom movies. So far, in the Venom movies, Eddie Brock, played by Tom Hardy, and his symbiote have fought against villains like Riot and Carnage. In the end of the second movie, another symbiote villain called Toxin was teased. However, Null would be a more compelling villain, but he should be introduced in the MCU, not in Venom 3. Null is an ancient god who created the symbiotes and is known as the King in Black. He resisted the authority of the Celestials but was eventually trapped on the symbiote homeworld. In the comics, Carnage becomes a devoted servant to Null and frees him, leading to a crossover event where Venom and other Marvel heroes team up to stop Null from taking over the world. Using Null in the existing Venom franchise would not do justice to the character or the universes of Sony and the MCU. The Venom movies are too isolated and lack the necessary groundwork to make Null's appearance meaningful. Additionally, there aren't established allies for Venom to join forces with against Null. It would be more fitting to save Null for the MCU, where there are more established heroes and a larger interconnected universe. Null is a major villain with power comparable to Thanos, Eris Hem, the Judge, and Galactus. When such powerful villains appear, it requires the collaboration of many heroes. A film adaptation of Null's storyline would need a larger roster of heroes, which the MCU can provide. In the King in Black storyline, the Avengers trust Venom and work together to defend against Null, setting aside Brock's darker past. Venom 3 should focus on expanding Venom's connections to Spider-Man and possibly start building bridges to the MCU. Hopefully, Null and the threat he poses can be developed in the future within the MCU.